Hey guys, welcome back to Bernard from the BTN HD and you finally upgraded your Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 machine to Windows 10 and you've been having so much problems and you want to do a clean installation. So how would you do a clean installation? Now there's two options. One option is the easy way which is the reset option which I'm going to show you guys right now. So within your Windows 10 you want to go inside your starts or you want to go into settings or you go into your notification center and within there you go to all settings. Once your settings dialog box pops up you want to click on update and security and you want to go into the recovery and uh, from here you could reset this PC. Uh, when you get started they're going to give you I think a couple of options and one of the options is keep my files or remove everything. Uh, keep my files removes apps and settings but keeps your personal files. Uh, remove everything it removes all your personal files apps and settings it's just like a clean slate that's one option the second option let's say you want to completely reinstall windows 10 where would you get the dvd where would you get the iso where would you get this stuff now microsoft provided us this nice little tool called media creation tool uh i'm going to provide the link at the bottom so you guys can get yourself a copy but when you download it and double click on it uh, you're going to get the user account control dialog box. Just hit yes. And uh, it's going to pop up a nice little window giving you two options. One option is to upgrade now. And the other option is to create a uh, media boot. Right? Uh, we're not going to upgrade now because we're already in Windows 10. Okay? So what we want to do is create an installation media for another PC. So click on that. Click on X. And it's going to give you what edition. So it's Windows 10. You pick your uh, your type. If you want both, go for it. I'm only doing 64-bit. Click on X. Now, it gives you two options how you want to create the media boot. You can either do it on the flash drive off the bat, or you could do an ISO file. If you do the ISO file, most likely you have to find a utility like Power ISO to burn it to a DVD, and then you could just boot from the DVD. If not, if you've got a flash drive, plug in your flash drive, and the tool will try to identify the flash drive and then burn everything into that. Uh, I'm going to do an ISO because I normally test everything on virtual environment. So that's the best way for me. And click on next. And right now, you can give the file name, uh, whatever name you want. By default, it's Windows. And this, the save type is an ISO. Uh, I'm going to do it on a desktop. Click save. And right now, it's downloading the Windows 10. It's uh, compressing it, creating an ISO file for you. There was a problem downloading some files. We weren't able to do it. Now, I think the reason, oh, because I'm having internet problems. <laughs> now, I think the reason that this popped up for me is because I already did it already. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys where the file is at. So the file, I actually placed the file. See, I had the file already created. So I actually moved the file into one of my share folders uh, right here. So this is it. So this is the Windows ISO that I created. And it was not too long ago. Uh, the process takes between, I would say, an hour, two hours, depending on your internet connection, because it's downloading everything from the Microsoft server down to your machine, compressing it, creating an ISO, or if you have a flash drive, it's you know, burning it to the flash drive to make it bootable. Uh, I want to, I want to actually test this out. I have a virtual machine right now, so I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to get into my virtual machines because I'm, I, I need to create this uh, BJ live stream machine for you guys. So I'm going to edit the virtual machine. I'm going to go into the CD, go to the ISO. I'm going to browse it. I'm going to go into my D drive. Here it goes, media. This is the ISO file that I created with the media creation tool. We're going to click on open. We're going to click OK. We're going to power this virtual machine. Again, most likely you guys can pick a flash drive. Just make sure that you um, change your BIOS setting to boot within the flash drive. And then it should go straight through to something like this. If you burn it into an ISO and you find a utility to burn an ISO into a DVD, you put the DVD in. It's going to give you uh, press any press any key to boot from the CD or DVD. And I switch, this is what you're going to get. So this is awesome. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to click on install. And it's going to start the process installing uh Windows 10 from a fresh PC. This is a fresh virtual machine for me, but for you, you're probably a new machine. Again, when you guys do this installation, um, it's going to completely wipe. You know, it's a clean installation. This is what you want. You got to do the reset option, go into the recovery, or do a um, 
do a clean install with the ISO or the flash drive. Now it's gonna it's gonna ask for your activation key. We don't have the activation key. Remember Windows. Remember, Microsoft is giving us Windows 10 for free for a year. So if you get this dialog box, what you could do is just say, I don't have a product key. And then from here, it gives you the option, Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Home. Uh, and you pick your option. I'm going to do Pro. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do Pro. Now I'm going to do Home. Let's do Home. Click on Next. And from here, let's uh, agree to the license. Click on Next. I'm going to do it a custom. And the only reason that I'm doing custom because upgrade is if I, ha I already have an operating system within this virtual machine. I don't. It's a clean one. And we're going to click on next. So what's going to happen is going to completely wipe it clean, reformat it, install the operating system. And that's it, guys. That is how you do a clean installation. There's two options. One option is you either... Uh, Start this media creation tool. The only reason that I it arrowed out on me, the only reason that I got the error is because I already created it, uh, or I'm having internet app problems, which I'm gonna fix a little later. And the second option is you go inside your all settings app, go to all settings, updates and security, go to recovery, uh, go to the reset this PC, get started and pick which option you want. Most likely, if you want to do a clean start, you do a remove everything and remove everything and bring it back to the way you want it. Uh, it's really up to you. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget about hitting that like button. Uh, if you have any comments or questions or concerns, leave them at the comment section right below of the video. I wanted to help you guys out as much as possible with the Windows 10 stuff because I know a lot of you have been having headaches with this Windows 10 uh, operating system. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.